Dublin Z from the Four. It is the Strawberry Alarm Clock, and in studio is a, a good friend of the show. Uh, we like to say uh, Uji Bougie and uh, phone me Jacks, but we won't go down. We won't do that this time. I've no Jacks anymore. Have you no Jacks? <laughs> Where do you Jackson. go? The Jacks is gone, lads. I oh, know. Yeah. What's just an, an outhouse, is it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm just use my mates. <laughs> And he's no phone in it. Has he no phone? No. No, no pair in his he, gaff. No, no phone in his no jacks. It's just a normal <laughs> guy. Yeah, he's not famous. It's good, that. No phone in his jacks. No. So, yeah, and you, you have Paris. Rice. But Ronan Keating, by the way. Yes, good morning. Good. How are you doing, lads? Uh, do if you need an introduction. Like, Uji Bouge. That's all you have to say. There he is, Uji yeah. Bouge. Um, <clears throat> your gaff, uh, the, the lights went out, did they? <laughs> the lights went out, yeah, yeah. The power went the, the wind, the crazy wind the other night. Uh, the power went out. Yeah. Yeah. Are we completely in the dark kind of thing? <laughs> I'm completely you're usually completely in the dark, yeah. Um yeah, I made the mistake of tweeting it actually and all the smart arses out there were on there. Oh, do you not pay the bill, I was <laughs> Yeah, it was good that <laughs> But it wasn't just yours, it was all the Malahide. No, all the right? Malahide went out, yeah. Yeah. So how have you been? I've been great. Yeah. yeah. Back with this album, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I genuinely actually enjoying being out doing promo. It's six years since I've had a studio album. Okay. Uh, even though, like, I did the back rack record and me songs, me mother, and all those, yeah. they're cover albums. So this is a genuine studio album, yeah. all new songs, and I'm loving it. I'm loving being back. You know, there's a there's a nice vibe out there for people who like the single. So yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, and you, is Greg Alexander back on right? Greg's on the songs? album. There's wow. three three songs on the album. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. Is he, does he make big wedge from that now? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, he kind of, he retired from, you know, music and, and from writing as well yeah. and, and gave it up. But he came back a few years ago, but he's he's over with uh, John Carney now yeah. um, in New York with the, the the movie, Can a Song Save Your Life with Kira Knightley? I don't oh, know if wow. you've heard about this and Adam Levine. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Greg's written all the music for the movie. So, I mean, it's... That's know, where the money is, isn't it? Oh, big time, yeah. I mean, publishing. Well, it was pretty much a one-hit yeah. wonder with the new radicals. It, didn't have, it was one of the songs. Which is okay, actually. But the but other songs he wrote, he wrote some of your. Oh, that album is magnificent. But after the first single, he didn't like the fame, and he says, "That's it, I've had enough." So he walked away from it. But he had this smash song called uh, you get uh, what you so, "Someday We'll Know." It was called. Oh, yeah, that was after I think. Yeah, it came, went to radio, but he literally legged it <laughs> when yeah. it was on radio. Didn't that was a really promo. good song. Actually. Yeah, good tune. Um, I, so yeah, it was a big album for him. But he's he's I mean he's had that Michelle Branch track with uh, Santana, uh, yeah, which yeah. was the bit. Biggest airplay in history in America or something like that. I mean, wow. he's had roller coaster with me. Yeah. He's had you know songs all I mean, lots of. Should look people. at uh, we're only talking about the other day. Ryan Tedder from One, One Republic. He's written for Beyonce, yeah. Leona Lewis, yeah, uh, really. Destiny's he's Child. Everywhere. My kids love him. I mean, he's what's that big one with the uh, fighter? It's called. Um, Oh, uh, Jim Class Street. Heroes. Yeah, that Jim Class Heroes. For Katie you know, Taylor. I mean, yeah, he's everywhere, perfect. all the time. And uh, like uh, Greg, uh, Rick Astley walked away from it all at the, sort of at the height. He just said, "I can't be dealing with this." Did you ever think uh, during your career was there ever a point you thought, oh, "I don't want to be famous anymore. I just want to go back to being Ronan and, and nobody knows me and nobody gives me grief." Of course, they know him. I know, but they, I know you, well, you couldn't <laughs> you couldn't not be famous in Ireland ever again. But did you ever th- think, I guess feel like I, no, walking you know away what? from no, it? No, I, I mean, I I feel privileged to be able to still do this 20 yeah. years later but yeah you get up some Sunday mornings and you're, you're, you're not feeling great and you open the newspaper and someone's saying something smart and you go oh, you know what I don't really want this anymore well, you, are, the, you do get a lot of hassle in the papers don't you I mean like well, we all do you know yeah, we, yeah. it's bar- we fault half the time because you yeah. do something or you say something or whatever it may be but yeah, I mean the papers are the papers, you know. I I could sit here and moan about them, give about them, whatever, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Who cares, really? Yeah. Is it hard to bite your tongue though? Yeah, sometimes, you know. And and the dangers of things like Twitter today is that you you can make that mistake very quickly. You yeah. can jump on and go, <laughs> you know, and send, and then you go, oh no, what did I do yeah. that for? <laughs> you know, but yeah, you know. keep your powder dry. Yeah, you've got to. You you really have to be careful. Um, but yeah, you make the mistakes. Yeah. It's all right. So you don't want to single anyone out right now and send. Them oh, they all know who they are. The Muppets know. <laughs> the Muppets know their Muppets. The Muppets know who they are. Yeah, in the Muppet House, yeah. <laughs> on Muppet Street. Yeah. And what's it? What's it like in uh, Down Under when you're on uh, X Factor? There? It's great. I mean, do you, you know, get grief from the papers there a little as well? bit here and there. Not do so you? bad. Not not nothing like here. I mean, nowhere yeah. for me is as hard as Ireland. But that's fair enough. You know, I'm is not it, moaning are about we it. Tough on our own? Is it, is it, is it, are we tough on our own? Um, yeah, of course we are. I, mean, well, I think fairness. every country's the same. You know, they yeah. they have the tall poppy syndrome. They call it down in, in Australia. Yeah. And it's the same down there. You read the papers, and you know they're just killing their own. Yeah, in the press. No, I, I'm. I, they look after me there. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. The UK is not so bad for me. Um, I think. Yeah, well, it's like that anywhere you go. Yeah, they're hard on their own, which is fair enough. Colin Farrell, in fairness, said the same the other day. He said that you know 
we made some comment like, oh, the Irish like to keep you grounded. And he yeah. just said, they certainly do. <laughs> they yeah, certainly they do. do. They do. <laughs> yeah. And you do, you have to be careful. You can't, if you slag them off too much, it's like, Ronan gives out about journalists on radio shows. Oh, that's you, it. But you you're know, not giving out about I've, I'm not giving out. I've <laughs> made that mistake. Ronan's yeah, rant. That ranting Ronan. TV show. <laughs> yeah, ranting Ronan. Ranting Ronan. I can see the headline we're, now. We're, yeah. just, we're wheeling them into this. <laughs> yeah. So why do you hate the journalists All the rest of this interview will be gone. All they hear is, I hate the press. I don't at all. At all. You love the press. I love the press. They're my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is yeah. Jim still following you around on your Harley? Oh, there was one day I saw you on Sunday. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He says to me, there was this guy in all black with a black helmet on, that's revving right. at the lights. Said, yeah. And he goes, it the must have been Ronan Keating. Then the, he, he the that thing. It's some bike. It's like, it's like Batman's bike. No, actually, that's just me, Jim. Like, there's no noise off. Oh, that is that bike. you doing that's that? That's just me going, warming up the vocal cords. Susie Mills! Susie Mills! Well, I heard you. Yeah, you heard me. And then you passed my Barney bus, as Nobby calls it. Yeah. He calls it a Barney bus. Why? What are you driving? It's a, it's a Jeep, purple, but it's, it's purple. This is just because I've got oh, it. Is it like a hot roddy, you know? No, it's a Honda CRV. Oh, I've got a, <laughs> it's a good practical car. I've got a kid seat in the back. He slags the Barney bus because I'm playing Barney. I don't play Barney in my car. But I you know what's really unfortunate about it? It's the most, you know, blend in car. It doesn't stand out. It doesn't say pick on me. And what happened to him a few months ago was some scumbag broke into it. Oh, no <laughs> so no matter what you have, yeah, yeah you right. really wouldn't break into Well, that's why you don't play Barney anymore because he obviously <laughs> stole your Barney CD, did he? Oh, my Barney CDs. I don't like to talk And about then, anytime he's got, ever been in any of the cars I've had since I've known him, it's always, oh, this car is too low. This car it's is too low. I can't get yeah, out of it. Like, the seat's like, not comfortable. I like being up high. You know? Get a Jeep. This is, it's, yeah. it's, oh, this is a Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a bit, yeah, it's, it's still too low. I'll get a bigger Jeep. No, no, Mike, mine's fine. It's his, his, uh, he doesn't like coupes at all. All right, okay. So you drive a coupe. Oh, yeah. And you drive a Jeep. Yeah. Right. Oh, you see, he's making, he's making assumptions there. You I see already him? have you sussed. Right, yeah, yeah he's sussed. Yeah. sussed. <laughs> Two doors, four doors. Two door, four door. Um, right, no me. doors. Mark's <laughs> mic is a bit loud, I've been told from the other room. Oh, sorry, okay. It's just me shouting, is it? Why don't you shut up then? No, don't shut up. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm here, I'm over here, lads, whenever you're ready. So, <laughs> the album. Yes. Um, wh- what is, what's the, the theme of it already? The album's called Fires. Yeah. Same as the single. Um, first studio album in six years. It's, it's got, it's an, anth- oh, best way I explain it. It's a pop album. That's it. It's proper pop record. Yeah. And um, first single's quite anthemic kind of pop tune. Uh, second single is, um, is, is kind of a, a mid-tempo guitar tune. Uh, Greg Alexander's back on there. There's Life is a roller coaster kind of feel songs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's only two ballads on the album, which is very different for me. There's a full-on dance track. There's a there's a rap tune. I'm not rapping. There's a young kid from London oh, called I'd love Kiz. to hear you rapping, Ronan. Oh, yeah, so would I, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, I'm a deadly <laughs> rapper. My name is Ronan and I'm on me bike. Yeah, yeah man. Do, do, do. I'm revving it up. And <laughs> I all like that to find me kite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no man, I'm I'm I, so the, I'm I appreciate it, but I'm no good at it. But the it, pressure's so. off though, because of the last with the back rack thing, and he was bringing you in and, yeah. and saying, "No, do this." Do that was that. hard work, yeah. No, so, yeah, it was so good it's good to try something different. Yeah, it was great. I mean, look, there's three or four singers in the world that have had that opportunity. Yeah, with him, it's brilliant. I'm honored. I'm honored. But you're back. The, you're back, sort of in your comfort zone. Yeah, now. you're back doing what you do. Yeah, it was a tough few years yeah. trying to find out what that was really. Yeah, I mean, the last three years has been you know mental for me. I'm trying to find the, the right sound and. I'm I'm not a kid anymore, and trying to you know I, I'm not I don't want to go up against One Direction and all these big pop acts out yeah. there. So I, I had to find what was the right sound for me. Where was I going to go? And I think I found it with this album. Cool. I mean, the first single wouldn't be lost on a take that record. You know, it's right. got that kind of feel about. Okay, it. well that's um, good. Yeah, yeah. So it has that kind of feel. So is it yeah. fair to say that it kind of picks up where Life Is a Roller Coaster let off left off? But, yeah, but obviously. Yeah, it has. Names. I mean, I made you know it was peaks and troughs for me. I mean, the, there was some big albums, and then there was albums that didn't work. You yeah. know. So it's kind of I went back to listen to the stuff that that did work for me and say okay this is what's worked this is what my fans have, have liked and tried to recreate that or, or create a new mm. version of that. Yeah, um, well, some people would say you're very brave to try and do other stuff as well. You know, other people would go I won't sell, won't do it. Yeah, I used to try it. Well, I have to try it. Yeah, I mean, and it's tougher out there as you guys know. It's tough mm. for artists to sell records. Yeah. Nobody buys singles anymore. It doesn't happen. Mm. So mm. it's trying to do it right. You know, make the right album and put out the right first record to radio that sells that album and so on. Um, and and I think this album, this first single, fires is, you know, very. It's the perfect first single for this album. It reflects the sound of the record. When you said, uh, oh, come on, yeah, that's, that's, that's one of the best beginnings of a song. It's just, it's, oh, come on, yeah, and then straight in. That's, that's loving each that's day. Loving each day yeah. you, you need a bit of that, though. You do. That's a bit of Greg Alexander, though. Greg's yeah. great in the, in the studio like that. He'd be shouting at me like, I'm honestly, I got my headphones on, yeah. and he'd be on talkback, and I'm doing a vocal, and he's shouting down the mic going, do this, ow! 
four. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I'm going, mate, I'm trying to do a vocal here, but he's great like that. He has that energy in studio and creates those vibes. You know? Yeah, and you're bringing back the, the, the big microphone that you had and you kicked that around. Like, <laughs> I'm smashing it up. You do yeah. all of that? And no, sort of, no, 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 it's gone. Right. Have you seen the new video? No, I haven't seen it yet. No, no it's good. It's, it's different. There's two, and you're going, God forbid, one's enough. There's two me, two Ronans, let's say, in the video. Yeah. It's like an old one and a new one, and it's kind of. It's a, yeah. What's the difference yeah. between the old and the new? Age. And, okay. and no more way, tattoos yeah, wisdom, less tattoos yeah and who's your favourite uh, the new one the new one yeah, the new Ronan new you. that's it that's so it. you're saying goodbye <laughs> to the old Ronan yeah so you so you've transformed. I am. I'm, I'm an Autobot. You've you're like Doctor Who. You've, I am. Yeah. You've transformed, but you still you still look the same. But it's new. Yeah. There you go. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I've broken it down for you now. This, that's this, it. This is yeah. happening. Clear on this smoke. Album. Yeah. So and, and uh, like, is there a personal? Have you got some personal stuff on there? Have you? Um. No. You know, on purpose, I haven't put pen to paper and started tell, telling stories about what's happened. I mean, yeah. you know, I've. I've I've made my mistakes. I've hurt enough people. I don't need to do that. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. So really, this is you know. Obviously, I was in an emotional places where I've dug deep and wrote songs that are you know heartfelt songs, but they're not autobiographical in okay. any way. So no, there's no stories in there to hear about other people. Right. Yeah. But it's, it's just about sort of the transformation. There. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that happens to that happens to everybody. So you know, we can all. Mm. Get our it's called puberty, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yes. us, us men never grow out of it. That's no, we don't. We don't. Um, and was anyone kind of pushing you to do that on the new album, saying, "Oh, go on, bear all"? But like, yeah, I mean, you get it all the time. You know, labels want it, people want you know, and then you know, I'm already getting calls about, "Oh, are you writing the book now?" And I'm, no, what, you know, what am I gonna? Why would I want to do that? It's yeah. been written about enough. It's you know, enough has been said. It, no, I just want to make records now and, and try and do that and try and do it well if I can. What about boys on the movie? I mean, not how great would that be? Uh, the, the telling the story. I yeah. mean, and cast a load of young fellas as you guys. Yeah, I think it'd be hilarious. Man, our I mean, stories are funny. Seriously, it, 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 I, I'd imagine properly so. Properly funny. Tell us one. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's um, a, what's a, go- a golden memory from the, oh, back the, in look, the day? There's, there's so many brilliant memories. Duster's involved in most of them. Yeah. Um, as you can imagine, he's, he's brilliant. A big but, messer, isn't he? I uh, total messer. But uh, I mean, I. I <laughs> I can't tell that one no um, <laughs> see they're the ones they're the best ones the ones you can't tell us write them down I could change the names um, no. change the names is good yeah well that's the thing you'd have to change the names to protect the innocent there's this okay. guy called <laughs> Kevin yeah you Who wouldn't uh, know him <laughs> No, because no. I mean, it's actually funny because I was watching reading the years. They're in the noughties at the moment. Oh yeah, because it's summertime. There's no no news. It's, it's amazing how big that show is. Every it really time I is. The supermarket or something. You know, someone go. Oh, I was watching reeling in the years and you were dancing like Egypt in the late late show. Well, you, I was watching reeling in the years and you were doing this. And <laughs> yeah. this time it was uh, you were on the late late. It was 2008. You'd gotten back together oh, yeah. and there was you and Stephen and obviously everyone was. Uh, it was only a short clip, but um, which was, was, was funny. Where the we same recreated week. the dance again, was it? No. Did you, see that? did you recreate the dance? We went back. We did, they did a late, late special, and oh, we no. recreated that dance. It was ridiculous. We were loving it. Fair though. play to you. It was very funny. Yeah, but L- the only about really in the years in the nineties now, particularly the later end, it's just all about money, money, money. It's depressing. You know how yeah. bad the country, the <laughs> shape of the country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just tribunals and. Yeah. More politicians and yeah. bankers who now are going to prison, and but yeah. at the time they're like, it's going to be a soft landing. It's going to be a soft landing. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. Landing. Our banks are well prepared, and it's just going. It's just dying in front of you. Very but then boys on came on and cheered it all up. I so cheered it all up. Yeah, there <laughs> we are. You've probably featured on Real in the Years on a load of episodes. Then you know, well, we're nearly twenty years. Boys on are twenty years yeah. next year, and we're doing a record and uh, a tour, which will be exciting for us. Yeah, we can't wait. Yeah, Mick was forty yesterday. Was he? Yeah. 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 Kidding, well, well. He was 40 yesterday. Happy birthday, Mick. Happy. Listen. He's the oldest, yeah. isn't he? He's the eldest. Yeah, I'm the baba. I'm 35. Yeah. And he's 40, yeah. And so, but before all that, you're going to tour this album, right? Yeah, you? January, February, I'm on the road. I'm about to announce Irish dates, actually, which I see on Twitter the fans are asking about. So, yeah. Yeah. About to announce them ne- the next in the next week. You've hardcore f- fans, haven't you? I it's mean, great. When I mean, we the kind of loyalty's been ha- amazing. I mean. When we half mentioned that you're coming on, we get like tweets and emails from mm. Sweden and. Yeah. Germany when's he going to be on what time is he going to be on is it live when will the podcast be up you know all that yeah. kind of stuff so. that's great I mean without them I'd be lost and, and luckily I can go into Europe now with this album and you know promote it and, and tour and so on which oh. I can't wait for. Where, where obscure are you huge okay yeah. the Faroe Islands really ridiculous I did a gig there about three weeks ago two weeks ago I saw you tweeting a pic from there it, amazing yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. like the west of Ireland yeah. it's kind of what it looks yeah. like but even more magnificent like the hills and you know, it uh, it's beautiful there. It's really there's only forty five thousand people living on the island. Eleven thousand people came to the gig. Brian Kerr. What? So, yeah. Brian Kerr is the manager there at the football team. Is he? Yeah. 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 I think you're right. Is, yeah. yeah. We played them a couple of times. Yeah. I think they bet us actually the last time. Wouldn't be surprised. 
Well, but boys uh, haven't played Ireland. Be, uh, <laughs> 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 boys haven't played, boys haven't played Ireland. Ireland. But you're, um, and you're yeah. huge there. Too. Yeah, so that was, that's what people. was bizarre. Like, that was really bizarre. I made one of the best gigs I've ever done. I loved it. And they, they know everything, they know all the stuff. Every song. You could play it album tracks and they'd be yeah. like, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> B sides. I was doing yeah. B sides. Here is yeah. Life is a Roller Coaster yeah. again. It was great. It was really great. Love so, with cool. all this touring and going to Europe and all this, obviously the kids are majorly important. But, yes. um, you know, if you're, if you're talking about new starts and stuff, how are you going to find happiness yourself apart from the music? Are you going to give yourself time? In a really, I'm in a really good place and, you know. Besides what the papers think they know, I, I'm feeling great. I'm re-energized with the album. The kids are, are great. They're happy, and that for me, and for Yvonne, yeah. is the most important thing. You know that our kids are happy, and and you know Yvonne is happy, and I genuinely am happy for her. That is fantastic. It's great. Yeah. Um, which means that I can move on, move forward in whatever way, I, shape, or form that is for me. Yeah. And, and right a bit now, of a smile now when you said that at the start. Huh? There was a bit of a smile now when you said that at the start. Yeah, but I genuinely am happy. Yeah. I am. I'm you feeling seem, great. You seem it, yeah. I'm glad I, to I'm, hear about it. Yeah, no, I'm, thank you. I, I'm, I'm enjoying working on the record, and that's kind of been my focus. And I'm lucky I have that. Yeah. Because I wouldn't want to be sitting at home moping around, you mm. know. So, no, I'm feeling good. And, and I'm out there, and I'm back to Australia doing X Factor um, for the three months at the end of the year. And then I'm touring January, February, March. And then I have another film. The film's coming out in February, Goddess. Right. And then I've, I start my new film in, in April, March, April. And how's the acting going? You love that, Yeah, you? I'm loving it. Yeah, it's yeah. great. You're doing a bit of everything, aren't you? <laughs> Chancer. <laughs> Chancer. I'll try anything. You and Duff, sir. Yeah. Coronation yeah. Street there. I hear him doing voiceovers now. Yeah. Yeah. Come to the tall chips. That's what, have you heard it? Yeah. No, I haven't. I, that's it doesn't Charlie sound like though, him. Isn't it? Right? That's, yeah, that's yeah, right. It doesn't really sound like him, but when you hear it a couple of times, you go, <laughs> it's going to be great. That's right. <laughs> um, so, good. so, uh, so the question we're asking, by the way, is are you single? Yes, I am, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Hear that, Jim? There you are. All the girls gone. All the girls. All right. um, Australia yes you're you're up and down from there all the time I am now if you don't mind me saying so we've had no summer yeah. so surely Australia is looking good to you now yeah, well like, it's great because <laughs> I'm heading down there it's, they're getting into their summer now well right. uh, it's, it's winter there now but like October November yeah. December's their summer yeah. so it's a lovely time to go down and it's a, Sydney's a hell of a city it's brilliant yeah. um, but it's tough because it's so far from the kids yeah. so I, I actually commute I go I go down in the beginning of September but I come back up the odd week yeah. for two days wow. and I go back down then they come down t- to me for a couple yeah. of weeks you're wrecked you hear that? Hard, you? people moan from driving to Dublin to Carlo <laughs> yeah, I have to drive know. from Port Arlington every day <laughs> but it's it's uh, it's a great city to do it in I, look I'd love to do X Factor in London that'd be the ideal scenario but uh, it's not happening okay Yeah. well listen um, it's great to see you and, yeah, and too, great, great to amazing. hear that things are going so well for you and yeah. that you're in a, a, the good zone did you hear that now everybody yeah, he's happy now are. leave him alone <laughs> feck off stop writing <laughs> rubbish <laughs> <laughs> he has paid well. his ESB bill I paid my ESB bill I paid it loud I put 50 pence in the meter last night that's what it was I couldn't good figure man. it out um, the new single's <laughs> out and the new album's out Ron Keating as always a pleasure to see you good to see you lads and we'll Thanks. see you soon man Thanks, Emil. Good luck. cheers <laughs>